Hello, I'm Odin, and this time I'm going to make something that's been requested many times. I'm going to make the blue shell from Mario Kart. This blue shell was originally made for Smosh, and it was used in their Smash Rap music video. It was one of three major props that I had done for that shoot. The other was the Zero Suit Samus gun, which I'll cover in another video, and Mario's green pipe, which was made from the cardboard tubes used to form concrete columns and some plywood. After measuring my original prop to remind myself of the size, I took a new piece of 3-inch foam from Home Depot and drew ovals onto it by placing dots at the extremes and then filling in the rest of the oval by hand. Then I cut it out using an electric carving knife that I got at the Goodwill. Now I've never made myself a hot wire to cut foam with, that's something to do for a future project. I then drew two more ovals about 3 inches smaller and cut them out. Two of them will be used for the blue top of the shell, and one will be used for the underbelly. To start the blue shell top, I used spray adhesive to glue the two ovals together. Then I started to carve the foam down with the carving knife, trying to make it as domed as I could. I knew I can't get a perfect curve with a straight knife, so I just did my best. Oh, and there's another thing you can't do. You can't sand this kind of foam. But you can carefully shave off a little more with a razor knife. Now I get to try and make heads or tails of this and figure out where I'm gonna cut the hole for the head and where I'm gonna cut the hole for the tail. To make it into a blue shell, I'm gonna use blue craft foam. I start by cutting out a rough hexagon about three and a half inches to each side. Since this one will be on the top, I use a heat gun to curl the blue foam a little for a slightly better fit. Then I made a paper pattern and I cut out six more hexagons. I spray everything with adhesive and place the top on first, lining up a flat side with the head and the tail. Starting with the head, I place the other six hexagons onto the body, leaving a little space between them, and trimming off anything that overlaps. To finish the blue scales, I add scraps to fit around the edge. I thought it was interesting that a 90 degree angle was a perfect fit for each of them. Then I trimmed off the extra blue foam. Now to make the black lines on the shell. The first time, I used liquid plastic dip and painted it into the seams. With this shell, I wanted to try something new, so I bought some black glue sticks from Amazon and covered the seams with black hot glue. To make the white trim that runs around the bottom of the shell, I used pipe insulation foam. It only comes in black, so I put something inside of it to open it up, laid it down, and painted it white with spray Plasti Dip. The Plasti Dip will remain flexible after it dries, so it won't crack or peel when I glue it on. It took several coats to become white, but I didn't use the whole can. To attach the trim, I only put contact cement on the blue shell. My plan was to use the adhesive that comes on the pipe insulation, so I started at a tail and worked my way all around the shell and trimmed the foam to fit. The adhesive to contact cement mostly worked, but I did need to re-glue some of the seams later. The belly piece was made just like the top, with a carving knife and a razor knife, and a place for the head and tail. I painted the holes for the head and the tail with plastic dip on both halves of the shell. The first shell I made had yellow foam, so I didn't need to color the belly. This time, Home Depot only had white foam, so I'll have to paint it. Plasti Dip comes in many colors if you order them. I compromised and just used spray paint. Spray paint on foam will feel crusty and stiff, but this is the bottom of the shell and it's only going to get displayed, so I didn't worry about it. For the black lines in the belly, I just drew them on like I did the first time. To attach the belly piece, more spray glue. Then glue the white trim down to meet the belly. You could stop here, because you can always make it a green shell, you could always make it a red shell, but I want to make a blue shell. I want to make the spiny blue shell. In fact, I'm going to pull some wings that I had originally made for Smosh out and glue them on and make the winged blue shell. But first, I want to make the spikes. I need five of them, but I'll make six so I can pick the best ones. After cutting the pipe insulation on an angle, I hollowed out some of the inside seams so when I glue them together with contact cement, they'll be easier to roll up. At first, the seam isn't round, it's more like the bow of a boat. Just press it down, and they'll have a better shape. Instead of painting these, I wrap them with white craft foam. Then, cut the end off to give a nice spike shape. I still need some white craft paint to hide the seams. To glue them onto the shell, just paint the end with contact cement, and press it against the shell to print the right size circle of glue. I use the same technique to apply the wings. Once the cement is ready, bring on the spikes. Nearly all the materials I used to build this came from Home Depot. I'll put a list in the description below. 
This is a blue shell. You can also make yourself a red shell. You can make a green shell. If you modify some of my ideas and make them a little bigger, you can make your own Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shell and wear it. And remember, there are many different ways you can go about making something. But this is how Odin makes. If you like the video or have ideas for something for me to make, please leave them in the comments below. And if you make any of these projects, you can send me a picture at odin at odinmakes.com.